Hola. Welcome to another edition of Red Beard Food Reviews. And we are here in the fabulous Casa de Trailer. That means my house. Tonight we have a very special treat. A very savory and spicy treat. Tonight, J.R. Warnett is going to review four tacos from a local taco truck in Liquid and a bowl of lamb soup. So if you're ready, I know I'm ready, let's get into it. Full disclosure, my wife is the one who told me to go to the taco truck. I have been to this taco truck before, but I haven't been there today. So it counts as another food review. What we got here, this is a lamb soup and four tacos. We have a chicken, a lamb, a beef head, and pork skin. Or, in other words, pollo, cabeza, carnitas, and barbacoa. And they all come with cilantro and onions. Woo! First, we're going in for the lamb soup. Here we are. Gonna go in for some soup on a hot day. It's like 98,000 degrees outside. And we're going in for the soup. Oh, what's popping up there? Looks like a bay leaf to me. So I'm sure that's one of the seasonings in this soup. I haven't been doing food reviews for long, but I do know that. It's a very thick soup, as you can see. Uh, it's got rice, it's got onions, lamb, cilantro. Oh. oh, you can't smell it, but it smells delicious. Going in. Oh. Immediate heat right off the bat, both in spice and temperature. Look at that. Lamb soup. You can see the peppers in it. You see nice big chunks of lamb. And a nice little umami bomb right there with the fat on the lamb. Hashtag umami bomb. Mm. It's real thick. I see a little bit of oil and a little bit of fat on top of the soup itself. That's how you know it's a good soup. As we dig down to the bottom, we see, well, more lamb because it's a lamb soup. It's full of lamb. Uh, it looks like there's some chickpeas in here. There's definitely, definitely lots of raw onion, which I don't know if anybody knows, but I hate. But it's so good in this soup that I'm going to ignore it. Spicy, nice and spicy, which is good. Jeff likes his soup spicy. And I hope everybody else does too. Mm. The problem with eating soup with a luxurious mane on my face is that it gets all here. So I have to constantly go in with, to take the shellac off my face. But it's worth it. It's worth every bit of it. I'll be doing a video later, a couple days from now, about what foods you can and can't eat with a beard. I have extensive practice in this field. So anybody out there who's starting to grow a beard or they have a long beard, you can write in the comments below which foods you have a problem with eating. Because it's all of them for me. Look at that. Look at that. Autofocus in on the lamb. Oh, let's go in for the close-up, shall we? Look at that. Two-layer taco, the chicken or pollo taco. It's got raw onion and cilantro on it. Uh, a lot of good spices. I just put some lime on it. Uh, and a full disclaimer, I hate raw onion. I, that's the one food I can't eat or I don't eat. But it's so good on these tacos that I make an exception. Nice flavor. Not too juicy, not too dry. And you can just tell with the double layer of the taco 
that it's going to have a little bit of juice coming off of it. Really good flavor, excellent flavor on the chicken. Uh, it's not too spicy at all. Very bland for my palate, the chicken that is. Mm. Let's go in for a little salsa, shall we? They give you two types of salsa. You go with the green if you have things to do tomorrow, and you go with the red if you don't have things to do tomorrow. The red is very spicy. It has got a lot of smoky flavor, but this stuff is dangerous. I think I use maybe a quarter of that, maybe half, on when I'm feeling very adventurous. The green is more mild. Um, I'll be using the green tonight. Maybe a little bit of the red if I feel a little adventurous. Mm. Okay, keep that beard out of the food because I have eaten my beard before. It's not as good as this taco, I can tell you that. Good flavor. The salsa is extra spicy today. Oh, I'm gonna feel it tomorrow, but I'm gonna enjoy it today. Oh. I was always horrible in math, but by my calculations, I still have three tacos left. So let's check out the next one. Taco number two. This is carnitas, pork skin. And you can just see that fat. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Nice and fat. And they give you two tacos for a reason. Because you could just make another taco out of all the meat they give you on this taco. Unreal. Bite number dose. A lot different flavor than the chicken. Obviously, it's a different animal. But that skin, that fat, that salty flavor really brings the taco out. It's just totally different because a lot of the chicken is usually just chicken breast or maybe a little bit of dark meat. But the pork skin, that is where the flavor is. And that is where I'm going in for another bite. Chewy too, which if you don't like chewy tacos, then maybe you shouldn't get the pork skin. But it's a good type of chewy. You'll notice <clears throat> I haven't touched the red salsa yet. There's a reason for that because this has the green salsa has actually a lot of kick today, which is good and it's a good surprise. So I'm probably not going to touch the red. Maybe I'll do it, just for the integrity of the video. Last bite. This is the last bite. Last bite of the taco. I have two tacos left. So I'm gonna regroup a little bit. Maybe, maybe take a little power nap, because <clears throat> I gotta go in for the other half. You can't do a taco truck challenge if you're gonna let the tacos get cold. You have to eat the food as is. So I'm going to breathe up. Get my wind back in me. Maybe do some sort of exercises. Maybe a little yoga. See if I can get ready. Because we still got two tacos here, folks. And I'm going in. Well, folks, I lied. There's not actually four tacos. There's five different types. Because my wife gets... The steak taco, plain, not much seasoning, but she wanted me to show you her taco that she has left. She had a few. Um, I have a few left, but even look at that. Just look at the open, open taco. That's a lot, a lot of meat. A lot of meat on there. You make two. That's why they give you two shells. But it's usually just to hold it up. But my wife had to invade my video. So here's her taco that she's got left. Let's get back to my challenge, shall we? I think I've sufficiently done enough exercises with my mouth and guttle region to go in for number three. The third taco on tonight's menu is a cabeza, which is beef head. Now I know what you're thinking. 
JR, what are they doing with the beef head? How do you do that? That's exactly what it sounds like. They take chunks off the cow's head, cabeza, and they put it with spices, and they marinate it, and they put onions and cilantro on it, and it just tastes so delicious. So delicious. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, the poor little cow head. He doesn't feel it because he's already dead because the other rest of them went to the steak taco from my wife's taco. So that's where all the flavor is too. A lot of you get a lot of the fat. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on. Let me get a crane. Now I got big hands, so. But it's a nice little taco. But look at that. Look at that. It's like, it's beautiful. Let's do it. Mmm. Extremely tender. Super tender. Because they, mar they probably marinate it and cook it really, really well. But it's a very different flavor than the pork and the chicken as well. Obviously, it's a different animal. But you get all that goodness from like the cheek and the probably around the head part itself, around the eyes. And it's super tender because it's a little stringy too. It's not as fatty as the the pork but it is good it's so good bite number two kind of get a little bit of a metallic flavor too believe it or not oh. poor mr cow you're so delicious and as much as i hate raw onion i don't hate it on these tacos but you can't say onion like that you gotta say it like chef justin wilson onion remember that Anybody out there remember that? Might be a little before your time, certainly before my time, but I do remember Chef Justin Wilson saying, on y'all. Whew, starting to get the meat sweats over here. So we have one more taco to eat. And by we, I mean me, because nobody's gonna help me eat it. My wife certainly isn't gonna help me eat it because she doesn't like this type of meat that I'm gonna eat. This last taco is the barbacoa. Put a little bit of lime on that, cool it down, and then I'm gonna heat it back up going in. It's a little hot. You can see inside the actual taco. I don't want to pull it apart because it's gonna fall apart. But you can see inside me taco that there is red pepper, there's a lot of spice. And I'm sure that whatever seasoning is in here is most likely in the lamb because they warned me and said, it's spicy. And I said, I can handle it. It's got the same level of spice as the lamb soup. I'm sure it's the same lamb. They probably cook the same process. Oh. Oh. Excuse me a second. I remember years ago when my wife and I first went to Mexico because my wife loves tacos. I don't know if anybody knows, but my wife loves tacos. So we went to a vacation. And we went to Cancun, and then we did all the, the dumb touristy things you do in Cancun. So, of course, at one of the spots, they had tacos for lunch. How authentic. Well, there were several different types of salsa. There was green, there was red, and then there was something closely associated with the color of a volcano. So what do I do? I say, bring on the volcano, I feel like eruption. Well, I put just a little bit on the side of my plate and I'm glad I didn't put too much because everything it touched was singed. It is a good burn, but I'm gonna pay for it later. Just a little bit. Last little bit. Off camera, I have a cat staring at me, as well as my wife. And I usually give my cat. She's coming. She's coming. Hold on. She's been eating with me off camera. She's been eating with my wife off camera. She's been a good girl. She likes taco meat too, but she can't have any of my lamb. 
No, she cannot. Last bit. <clears throat> well, that's it. We did it. There's four tacos gone. Four delicious, very different tasting tacos gone. <clears throat> but of course, I saved the spiciest one for last, which was the lamb. And if you do like spicy, that is going to be right up your bowling alley. Overall, on the taco truck, like I said, I've been there before. I haven't been there today. So, I am going to give it a rating of 5 out of 5 red beards because today it was just good. It was not only good, but it was just amazing. We have a lot to clean up here. But I am going to tell you that if you want to see more videos, please like my channel, like my videos, subscribe. You can see me on the YouTube. You can see me on Instagram. You can see me on the tweeters sometimes. But I'm going to I'm gonna have to do some damage control here to fix this hot pepper sauce stuff. I'll see you later. See you next time. Stay safe out there. Wear your mask. Eat lots of good food just like me. Bye.